Hi, welcome to Fix Home Network. Today I will show you how to set up Linksys WRT1200 AC router with or without installation CD or program. So we will discuss uh, about how to install this router manually without using any software or any installation program. And later we will see how to install this router using Linksys Smart Setup Wizard. So let's uh, first start with the Linksys uh, WRT1200 AC router uh, installation manually without using any software. So first of all, connect uh, the modem to the internet or WAN port on the Linksys router. So there will be one cable connecting to the internet modem and the Linksys router. On the Linksys router, you will see the internet or WAN port. So connect the modem to the internet port on the Linksys router and take another ethernet cable and connect your main computer or the laptop to one of the four ethernet ports on the Linksys router. So you will see port number one, two, three, four. So connect your computer to any one of the four ethernet ports on Linksys router. Now on your uh, your main computer open the internet browser it could be Firefox Internet Explorer Chrome or Safari in the address bar type in the number 192.168.1.1 hit enter or go now this 192.168.1.1 is the default IP address of your Linksys WRT 1200 AC router and uh, once you hit enter it will ask you for uh, a password and username to log in now the default username is admin and the password is also admin now in if you do not see any window come asking you for the username password then the, you may try to reset the router because it seems it you might have changed the IP address of the router. So press and hold the reset button on the Linksys router uh, for up to 10 to 15 seconds. Release the button. Unplug the power to the router and plug it back in. Now wait for 30 seconds. Now open the internet browser again. In the address bar type in the same number 192.168.1.1 and it will ask you for username and password. Now if, uh, you will see the Linksys router setup page. Once you are able to log in, you will see this uh, Linksys router page. Click on the connectivity option. You will see that option in the left panel of the settings page as shown in the figure. Now click on internet settings tab. Now if, uh, you are on the internet settings tab. Now we will need to change the internet settings of your router so that it will communicate with the internet modem. Now there are three types of internet connections uh, we will discuss about. First one is a cable internet service provider. The other one is a DSO internet service provider with PPPoE username and password. And the third one is a internet service provider with the static IP address. So let's start with the cable internet service provider. Change the internet connection settings or the type to automatic configuration DHCP. Now click on enable MAC address clone. Check that box and click apply at the bottom. So these are the settings for the internet uh, service provider with cable connection. Now let's see how to change the settings for DSL internet service provider with PPPoE connection. Change the internet connection type to PPPoE. Now type in the correct username and password given by your internet service provider. If you have DSL internet service, then they will give you PPPoE username and password. You just need to enter the correct username and password and click apply. The next uh, internet service provider with static IP address. Some internet service providers uh, will give you static IP address in order to connect to the internet. So change the internet connection type to static IP. Enter the static IP addresses given by the internet service provider. 
so they will give you IPv4 address, subnet mask, default gateway, DNS1, DNS2. So enter these settings and click apply at the bottom. Now you are done with the internet connection series and now you can try to access internet on the main computer. Your computer is connected to the Linksys router. So let's try to go online and see if your main computer is able to access the internet through the modem. Sorry, through the router. Now you are done with internet connection settings. We will change the wireless settings for your network. Now click on the wireless tab. There you will see two type of wireless uh, networks on this router. The first one is 2.4 gigahertz wireless network and the second one is uh, 5 gigahertz wireless network. So whenever you, if your computer has a capacity to uh, see the networks or to connect to 2.4 as well as 5 gigahertz network, then your computer will see two different networks. Now you can change the network name of both the wireless networks. So let's uh, keep different wireless networks for uh, both of these networks. Let's consider the first one is home. The 5 gigahertz, you can change it to home dash 5 gigahertz. So you will identify which one is the network that you want to connect. Now enter the password for both the networks, make it secured and remember that password because that is going to be the wireless network key or the password to connect to the wireless network. Now save the settings, your wireless settings are done. Now try to uh, connect to the wireless network on your wireless device. If you have a mobile, you can just uh, try to connect to Wi-Fi. You will see the network. When you try to connect, it will ask you for the password. Enter the same password and click connect. And once you're able to connect, you will be able to go online on your wireless, wireless devices also. So these are the basic settings of your wireless router. Uh, first, we have changed the internet connection setting and then we changed the wireless settings. So your router is all set to go. Now let's move on to the next uh, section of this uh, video. How to set up Linksys WRT1200 AC router using smart setup wizard. Now the connections will remain same. Connect the modem to the internet port on the router and connect your computer to one of the four ports on Linksys router. On your main computer, open the Internet Explorer or Internet Browser in the address bar. Type in linksyssmartwifi.com. If that doesn't work, then type in 192.168.1.1 or myrouter.local. Now you will see the screen. Read and agree to terms and conditions. Click next. Now the wizard will, this uh, installation wizard will look for the internet connection type. If you have DSL connection with PPPoE, then it will ask you to enter the PPPoE as a name username and password. If you have static IP address from internet service provider, then it will ask you to enter the static IP addresses. Enter the required information and click next. On the next screen, it will ask you to change the password for the wireless network. It will ask you to change the network name as well as the password for the Wi-Fi network. Enter the name and password. After that, it will ask you to change the router password. The router password is the password to log into the router settings. So both the passwords are different. The first one is for wireless network and the second one is to enter into router settings. That's it, your router is set up and it's all good to go. Now remember both type of uh, settings, uh, I mean the manual configuration or the configuration using smart setup wizard are same. There is not a big difference. So you just need to remember the password of the router and the wireless network password. So if you have any question, if you have any doubt, you can visit our website fixhomenetwork.com slash blog.
Thanks for watching.